Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you the speed of iOS 6 on the iPhone 3GS. Yes, it's hard to believe that the iPhone 3GS has made it to iOS 6, but this is indeed the most versatile iPhone ever, beating out the iPhone 3G which failed miserably when upgraded to iOS 4. The iPhone 3GS has survived iOS 4, 5, and now 6, and I'll show you why. This video is helpful if you're on the fritz about whether to upgrade your iPhone 3GS to iOS 6, or if you just want to see the speed of the iPhone 3GS in general. So first off, let's start with the scrolling of pages. As you can see, it is very smooth. I'm very surprised Apple was able to make it more smooth than it was on iOS 5 but they did. Now, before we start, not all the features of iOS 6 were implemented in the iPhone 3GS for obvious hardware reasons, or Apple reasons as well, but we did get a lot of features though. But let's start off just showing off the speed. So, for example, you can see typing is still very fast. If we go into the notes application and we just start a new note, as you can see, keyboard response is still very fluid, still very intuitive, and not no slowdown at all. So let's go into Safari, and let's see a page load up. As you can see, the internet looks like it loads up faster as well. Of course, I already had this website up here, but you can see scrolling on web pages, sometimes it slows down a little, sometimes it doesn't. I just say sometimes it behaves, sometimes it doesn't, but right now it's behaving. We can go into reader mode and then it brings it up without any problem, without any sitch. If we go into music, if we go into cover flow, of course music has always taken some time to load on the 3GS. As you can see cover, cover flow is smooth. It does take a little bit long to load up the cover art, but in terms of scrolling, it's very smooth. When you click on an album, it turns up what you would expect from any iPhone. Now we can go into the App Store, and it does take some time to load. That could be my Wi-Fi connection, that could be the iPhone 3GS itself, but it takes a little bit to load. So you can see still smooth scrolling across the board. Can try the iTunes store as well. Just want to give you a feel of how the iPhone 3GS is performing system wide on all platforms. You can see no major problems scrolling. Now on iTunes store you can scroll left to right which is awesome. Just looking for singles and EPs and we can go into Maps. Maps is the new Apple Maps that Apple created. It still sucks. They are in, I definitely prefer Google Maps. They, they actually loaded faster than this. Apple's Maps still look mediocre. You can just see that by the text. And you don't get directions on the 3GS. Well, you do get directions, but you don't get the turn-by-turn -turn 3D directions. You don't get the 3D buildings. And let's go into something like weather. So as you can see, weather has a new look. Again, no problem with the speed at all. And finally, we'll go into photos. takes a little bit to load at first and then you can see pinching and zooming and panning is still smooth and fluid even on this newest OS on the 3GS so that was it I hope you liked the speed that the iPhone 3GS is on iOS 6 
If you were on the fritz about upgrading, I would heavily suggest upgrading because you get features like you do not disturb and the new settings layout and you get passbook and you get several of the cosmetic redesigns that iOS 6 brings to the iPhone platform including a redesigned camera which is now black on white and we still don't get any more options other than the grid on the 3GS so that was my video I hope you liked it um, I'll be bringing out way more videos of iOS 6 including a review so I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day